We're a community. We have to live somewhere. We've tried living in exile. We'd be kicked out of every single country we went to. But it's more than being someplace where no one's going to attack you or you're safe. The Jewish identity is bound up with the land of Israel. All our holidays are celebrated around the agricultural seasons. When a Jew gets married, a glass is broken because Jerusalem was destroyed. In many Orthodox homes, there's a small area which is left untreated, unpainted, to remember that incident. Today, in the land of Israel, we still take tithes as a remembrance of what we did because we think that this soil is very special. It's not only something that can be planted and produced from with wheat or grapes or olives or anything else like that. Our connection with the land is what gives us life. Not only life in the sense of eating, but it gives us security, it gives us our identity. The land itself nurtures being a Jew. You cannot be a Jew and not have a connection to the land of Israel. You cannot be a Jew and think Jerusalem means nothing to you. You cannot be a Jew and think that I can get on with my normal life without thinking what is going on in the land of Israel? What does the land of Israel do for me? As a fact, Jews all throughout the world for 2,000 years, since we lost our political independence due to the Romans, have always been giving money, have always been coming here, as we call it in Hebrew, going on Aliyah, immigrating to the land of people. Many people, if not in life and death, came here to be buried. People who died abroad, in many cases, made sure that soil from the land of Israel were brought out to Poland, to Czechoslovakia, to Russia. This is something unique. This is what makes up the Jewish identity. The connection, to break that connection with the land is then to cause a spiritual, a moral, and eventually a life death between the, that person who thinks he's a Jew and the land of Israel. I want to thank you very much, for, first of all, for watching and listening to me. I want to remind you, we're in Shiloh. Just behind me is the ancient Tel Shiloh, the archaeological mound, and I invite you to come to visit. We have a lot to see and learn here at Shiloh. We have a movie. You can even dig here. You can excavate here, buy wine. We have lots of things to see and do here at the historical site of Shiloh. You can come and visit us in the modern community of Shiloh, just up on the hill. In getting to know us as people, and to get to know why we want to live here and where we live is a fantastic opportunity. I'm glad that you're listening to me and being able to hear what I'm trying to say. I'm sure that you can get in touch with all of us here through the information found. I hope that what I have explained to you makes sense because it's truth, it's logical, it's rational, and it's what everybody should be knowing and doing.